Hi, I'm Kristen Peterson with Art by Studio 10, and I wanted to upload a video of my very first pour painting. It happened two years ago, and I remember that YouTube started pushing views of pour painting technique compilation videos. It definitely was intriguing, so I started looking into it on my own, and I ran across Gina DeLuca's tutorials, and she is amazing and makes everything look so easy and doable inspired me and she does this um, dirty flip cup pour and so if you don't know anything about pour painting um, I'll just sum it up real quick I'm not a professional but it's fluid art so you have your mixed ratios of paint to pouring medium and then on the dirty flip cup pour you layer your paint in a cup layer by layer you take your canvas face down flip the whole thing over so now the cup is sectioned to the canvas, then you lift the cup up and the paint spreads out and then you tilt the canvas to cover it all in the paint. And I'm laughing on the inside because I didn't think about my four foot by five foot canvas that I was inspired to do this on being so huge that I wouldn't be able to reach underneath and flip that massive canvas onto my trash can that I was using to pour all my paint in. So it definitely caused a problem. I ended up just having to dump the trash can onto the canvas and I remember being like, oh no. So anyways, um, Gina DeLuca's tutorials is what got me into it and I've learned a lot since my very first pour but I'm still so happy and I love how my first one turned out. So check it out. I'm going to just voice over and explain what I was doing in this video. So here I mix all of my paints, lots of wall colors from my kitchen and living room, but also some accent colors like aqua and copper. And they're all mixed with pouring medium and measured out in their fancy Tupperware. And this is my trash can slash cup. And that's <laughs> what I use to layer them into. And I wasn't anticipating how much 168 ounces weighed. And also right here, I was just now realizing my canvas is way too big to reach and do a proper flip cup, so I have to dump. And I was like, oh my word, oh no. Um, so I thought I had ruined it at this point, like all of that paint and the effect was going to be ruined, but I actually really started to like the layers, so I decided just to wait and see what happened. Here I lift it and let it just kind of spread out a bit. And I start to tilt, but then I realize I need to paint my corners. So more tilting, and this was quite the workout. I had mixed 168 ounces, and with the canvas, it was so heavy. And I wanted to cover the entire canvas, but not lose too much off the edges but still create, you know, good movement for composition. So it was just really tricky and <laughs> for the first one I was like, oh, I could very easily ruin this. But I did luck out. It created this really pretty marbling effect. It had great movement and I just loved everything about it. And that's the beauty of pore painting, is the wonder and the mystery, like following the tutorials and will it turn out? And and sometimes it does and it's amazing. So here it is, the finished version of the painting that started out my love of pour painting. Anyways, thank you guys for watching.